Hello, 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 and welcome to ITTV. Yes, it's me again, your maths tutor, today to teach you on solving problems and also mixed operations. Now, before that, let's go to the brain teaser. All right then, let's go on to the question of last lesson's brain teaser. What is the only number in which you can add up all its digits and then multiply that number by 3 and get back the original number. Now, what did I tell you in the beginning? Yes, the hint was 3 times table. Did you check your times table? So, did you find the number? Okay, let's look at the answer. The answer is 27. Now, 27. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 equals to 27. Simple and easy. Alright, solving problems is a crucial part of your life and my life and anyone else's life. Of course, at your level, you would face a different sort of problem. At my level, I would face a different sort of problem. Okay, now, in the mathematical sense, what do you need to do when you solve problems? Number one. Look at the figures properly. Number two, find out what the question wants. Always the most important part. Find out what the question wants. And number three, yes, devise a plan. Come up with a mathematical way of how to get the answer. And after that, yes, you apply it. Okay then, let's go to this example. Let's read the question together. A hawker bought 1,410 rambutans. He tied 50 in a bundle. How many bundles was there and how much balance is there? Got the question? Now, what are the keywords that you need to know? Number one, how many bundles are there and how many balance is left? So, if you hear the word balance, what does that mean? Definitely, there has to be a division. Yes, because only in division you have remainder. Okay, let's look at it and see how we are going to solve it. Let's go to the question then. So, we have 1, 4, 1, 0 from Bhutan's. Fifty in a bundle. Bundle. Okay, so what do we need to do? Simple, remember, divide it. 1, 4, 1, 0. Divide by 50. Now, remember in the last lesson, yes, I told you all that there are two ways to doing it. You could actually do the actual division or you could do the short way. Now, shall we try the short ways and see? Let's do it. 1, 4, 1, 0, divide by 50. We have here, what would the answer be? 2 and 100. And you minus it off, you have the balance of 41. Bring down the 0. Yes, 8. And 400. And you minus it off here and you have the balance of? 10. So, what is the answer? 28 bundles with a balance of 10 rambutans. Simple and easy. Okay, there are 330 boxes of coffee powder. Each box contains 25 packets of coffee powder. Find the total packets in the boxes. Okay, got the question? Now, let's write it down. How many boxes are there? 330 boxes. Okay. How many in each box? Yes, you have 25 packets in a box. Now, what do you need to do? Yes, we need to find out how many or in total packets of 
coffee powder in 330 boxes. So the application is multiplying. Very good children. Shall we do it? Okay then. 330 multiply by 25. Now, remember you can start with the 2 or the 5 depending on your own suitability. But put it in the correct place values. Okay? Now, let's start with 5. 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 3, 15. Regroup the 1. 5 times 3, 15. 15 plus 1, 16. Now, 2 times 0. 0, put in the proper place value. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6. What do you need to do next? Yes, you need to add the 0 here. Okay, now let's do the addition. 0, 5, 6 and 6 is 12. We group the 1. You have 2 there plus 6 and you have 8. So, in total, how many coffee packets do you have? Yes, you have 8,250 coffee packets. Now, remember children, you need to write down whether it's coffee packets or rambutans or litres, milliliters. Do not forget it. We have... 15 grams of crackers, you need to crush them. Then we have butter, we have cream, cheese, we have sugar, we have milk and eggs. Hmm, what do you think this is? Yes, it's a recipe for a cheesecake. How many of you love cheesecakes out there? I, 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 yes, yes, I'm a huge fan of cheesecakes and trust me, I make delicious ones. Now, look at this, I have here with me, mmm, chocolate cheesecake, exactly. Do you know what they do? They just mix the cream cheese and add a bit of cocoa in it and start mixing it back again and voila, you have the chocolate cheesecake and I've had an extra icing on top and some nuts just to make it look delicious. Tempting, right? I know I'm thinking of it at the moment but we need to go on with class and we'll have that after class. Alrighty then, it's a deal. Now, when doing mathematical operations and you have division and you have multiplication and you have so many other things along with that in one particular operation, what do you do? Well, it's just like making the cheesecake. You need to make it in the proper mixture. You need to put the right ingredients first and then, voila, you get a beautiful, yes, what is this? Chocolate cheesecake. Okay then, let's look at the ingredients for math operation. Now, Okay, let's look at the ingredients for solving a mixed operation. Now, ingredients for solving mixed operations. Number one, look at the numbers clearly. Why? Sometimes our eyes tend to play tricks on us, you know. Sometimes, you know, we see a two and a one, but actually it's a one and a two. So, look at the numbers clearly. The second ingredient, look at the signs. See whether it's an addition minus multiplication or division okay and the last and final ingredient remember brother desmond married auntie susie who's brother desmond you're asking well actually it's a synonym for something you should remember like this one look at this okay <laughs> Yes, do you see that? That's Brother Desmond and that's Auntie Susie. Who's Auntie? My Auntie. Mm. Now, the B in Brother stands for brackets. So, we always solve brackets first. And then, followed by Desmond married, right? So, DM, D and M and that is division and multiplication. Now, whenever you have division and multiplication in the same operation, what do you need to do? 
you need to solve it from the left to the right. Whether it's division first or multiplication first, but you need to solve it left to the right. That's it. Now the last one. Auntie Susie, Auntie Susie, what do you think A and S stands for? Yes, we've been doing it from the first lesson. Yes, addition and subtraction. So, when it comes to addition and subtraction as well, we do it left to right. Left to right. Now, Brother Desmond married Auntie Susie. Again, Brother Desmond married Auntie Susie. Brackets, addition. Yes. Okay. So solve brackets, solve multiplication and division, and then solve addition and subtraction. And remember, left to right. Okay. Now, the only way you're going to understand this better is if you do questions. Shall we go to one then? Let's look at the first one. We have here. 3,419 plus 246 multiplied by 10. So, how do we do it? Let's go to the whiteboard and see how we solve it. Let me just get this out of the way. Okay, then it's clean. So, 3, 4, 1, 9. Plus 2, 4, 6 in brackets times 10. Okay, so which one do we do first? Brother Desmond married Auntie Susie. Brackets. So we solve this part first. Okay, let's do it. 3, 4, 1, 9 plus 2, 4, 6. Six. Remember, put it in the correct place value. 9 plus 6 is 15. Regroup the 1 and you have a 6 here. And you have another 6 here. And you have a 3. So, what's the answer? No, 3665 is just the addition part. What do you need to do next? Yes, you need to solve this part. So, what do we do? 3, 6, 6. 5 times by 10. Let's do it, okay? Yes, you can start with the 1 or the 0. I'll show you a shorter way later on, okay? So 5 times 0, okay, everything is 0, 0, 0. Now, 1 times 5? 5, 6, 6, 3. Got that? And what do we need to do? The zero, do not forget that. Okay, so we have zero, five, six, six, three. Right? Okay, then. What is the answer now, children? Yes, it's 36,650. Now, got it? Good. Let me show you a shorter way of doing this particular multiplication. Whenever you have a number multiplication by 10, all you need to do to that number is add a zero behind. Look at this. We have 3665 and we have just added a zero. Simple, right? So you don't need to complicate things too much for you. Try and make things as simple as possible. Let's try another short example. 10 times 10. How much is that? 10, add another 0 and you get 100. Simple, right? Okay then, let's try another example. A different type of mixed operation. Okay, we have here 764,025 minus 51,150. Divide by 15. Okay. 764,025 minus 51,150 divide by 15. So, how do we do this? Brother Desmond married Auntie Susie. 
Do we have brackets here? No. Do we have addition here? No. Do we have multiplication here? No. Do we have division here? Yes. And do we have subtraction here? Yes. So which one do you do first? Follow the sequence? Yes. You need to solve this part first. Okay. Shall we solve it together? Hmm. 5, 1, 1, 5, 0. Divide by 15. What is the answer, Gates? Yes. You would get 3, 4, 1, 0. Now, what do you do next? Yes. You solve this part of the sum. Okay. So, it's 7, 6, 4, 0, 2, 5. Minus of 3, 4, 1, 0. Okay, let's do this. It should be simple. 5, 1. Okay, what do you need to do? Yes, you need to regroup it. This becomes 10. 10 minus 4, 6. 3 minus 3, 0. 6 minus 0, 6. And 7. Okay then, got it? And the answer is? 760,615. Simple. So simple. No matter how complicated the sum is, just remember Brother Desmond married Auntie Susie. Okay then, let's go to some solving problems. Let's look at the first question, okay? Hmm, okay. Look at this. A florist bought 3,154 roses, but 100 were damaged. The worker tied the roses tree to a bundle. How many bundles of roses are there? Do you get that? Okay. Why don't you read it again while I just clear the board before we can do the question, okay? Now, remember 100 bundles or 100 roses were actually spoiled. So, would he be tying the 100? No. So, what would you do? It would be 3, 1, 5, 4... Minus 100 first and then you would divide them into 3. Okay, so brackets, solve the brackets first and what would you get? You can do it mentally. Yes, you would get 3054. Now divide that by 3 and you would get, let's do it together. 3 and 3, you would have 1. 3 and 0, no. So 3 and Yes, you would put the 0 there and 3 and 5. Of course, you would have 1. How many do you regroup again? 2. Okay then, 3 times 1 equals to 24? Yes, 8. So, cancel the 5, cancel the 0, cancel the 2 and you have 8 here and cancel this. Now, what is the answer? 1, 0, 1, 8. Yes, you need to fill up. Bundles. Simple and easy. See, once you know the ingredients, you can apply it when you're doing solving problems. Okay, let's do another one. There are 1,220 passengers in a train. In the station of Ipoh, 38 of them get down and 42 get in. When the train reaches Pulau Pinang, 70 passengers get down and 14 get in. How many passengers are there in the train? Now, what do they want to know? The number of passengers in the train. So, you have people getting down and people getting in. So, what do you need to do? Yes, getting down means you minus the amount and getting in means you plus the amount. Let's do the question. 1, 2, 2, 0. People are getting out. 38. People who get in again, 42. And in Penang, how many? How many get out? Yes, 70. And how many get in? 14. Now solve this and tell me what do you get. I'm not going to do it. You've done it so many times. Yes, it's 1168. People! Okay then, let's do a short recap. Remember what we did today, mixed operations? 
Yes, brother Desmond married Auntie Susie. Then what do you need to do? Solve the problem from left to right when it comes to multiplying and division and addition and subtraction. That's it. Simple. Okay then, let's move on to the brain teaser section. Alright, I have a question for you. Let's read it together. Joe and Bob are walking down the street. Joe stumbles across a $100 bill on the sidewalk across the street. Joe picks up the bill and tells Bob, Since you were with me when I found this, I'll give you half. So they go to the bank and half it up. But Joe decides that since he found the $100 bill, he should have 10 more than Bob. So now, how much would Joe have and how much would Bob have? Okay then, got the question? Now you know it's got to do with division. But remember it's a teaser, so it's something that's challenging your mind. With the question again if you can't get it and solve it. And the answer will be given to you of course next week. Okay then, take care, have a good day and adios. Thank you.